Pastor Fields Agape Worldwide Ministry, Springfield, Virginia. Amen. Tonight, amen. It's a special night, a special teaching on Jerusalem at Pentecost. Amen. When the day of Pentecost had fully come. Coming from the book of Acts, uh, we really can go back to Deuteronomy, amen, Leviticus, amen, hallelujah, and the book of Exodus. We will go to Exodus, amen. Um, we will go to Exodus. And where it was originally written for the children of Israel. Excuse me. And so um, we're talking about Jerusalem at Pentecost, the city, the people, amen, and the uh, next level of worship with God, amen, hallelujah, uh, worship of God. And if you see the photo, you see Jerusalem and you see Herod's temple, the temple in, in the foreground, because that was the seat of worship. Amen, hallelujah. And so that was the temple of the glory of God. Um, but there's a lot of things going on. Amen. As, as I studied this thing, um, Pilate, even Pontius Pilate, uh, said some things about the, um, the priests and the high priest. <coughs> I found out a lot of things. I found out a lot of things, amen, that was going on in the city prior to Jesus' arrival. Amen, hallelujah. And so um, um, the Pontius Pilate was sent there to, um, to calm down the, the Judeans, amen. Ju he was down in Judea, amen, which they considered the ghetto, amen. I did not know that the term Galilee was a term of derision, amen. And being from Galilee, it basically means a troublemaker, amen. If you're a Galilean, you're a troublemaker, hallelujah, amen, in the name of Jesus. And so when you say you're from Galilee, amen, I'm from the south side, hallelujah, amen, they expect in trouble, amen, hallelujah. And so as we go along in this, if you have questions, type them in on Facebook, uh, on the video, you want to type it in in the description, amen. And then if you have any questions, I, like I said, I'm humbled by this because people spend their lives studying the Middle East and the conflicts and everything that's going on. Amen, hallelujah, but I'm just going to give a feel for the city, amen, a survey. I'm in the helicopter, I'm flying around the city and telling y'all where the traffic is and telling y'all what's going on in the city, amen, at the time of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Now, we're going to get into the upper room and all that good stuff, amen, 120. We're going to get into that on Sunday, amen. Today, we just city folk, amen, we taking the tour today, amen, is that all right? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And God, we ask for your direction and your healing and your and your wisdom and God knows your wisdom and understanding, Lord God, as I venture into this today. Bless us, touch us, and deliver us, Lord God. Help your servant express what you wanted expressed. Amen. In this subject today, in this subject matter. Because this subject do matter. And Lord God, we ask for your divine hand. Help us to receive what it is you have for us to learn today. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And amen, 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 amen. The first scripture, I believe, would be the best scripture to turn to. And that would be in the book of Exodus. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, if, you want, if you need these notes, amen, contact me and say, Pastor, I need some notes. I want to go over the video. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm, I want to go over the video again, and I want to. I want to read, Amen, Hallelujah, um, along with you, and see your notes as we go along. So, see what you want. So, see what you want to do. So, but in any case, Exodus 34, 22 and through 23, Amen. If you have to say Amen. If you don't, doesn't matter. All right, so the 22nd verse says, Thou, God was given Moses the law, the Torah. <coughs> uh, <coughs> the Torah, amen, technically. Amen. We call it the Torah, amen, because we speak English. Hallelujah. So he was given them the law that they should be governed by. Uh, Leviticus, Exodus, Leviticus was basically an Egypt eraser. God needed to erase Egyptian thoughts and theories and concepts. 
Amen. They had a knack for failing God, but Israel also had a knack for holding to the statutes and not obeying, but they hold to the rituals and the statutes of God. And the reason why we have Pentecost in the first place, the three feast days, the three high days, the three high holidays in the first place, because they held to those statutes. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God that they did. Amen. So this is when it was handed down about Pentecost or the Feast of Weeks, the uh, first fruits. Amen. The wheat harvest. Amen. Uh, um, Lord Jesus, um, Passover, amen, was the beginning of the season, and, and the Feast of Harvest was at the end of the, of the season so that they could celebrate, amen, the, the wheat harvest and wave the sheaves, you know, and give God thanks. In other words, saying thank you, God, for what we have, given the first fruits. Thank you, God. Amen. If that could come out of the matrix, the King James says, amen, the matrix is the womb. Amen. Hallelujah. That was the firstborn. Amen. And so, amen. So we get thanking God for all the cattle. And God, you get the first and bring it to before the before the priest. Amen. In this particular case, it would say the designated church or the designated priest in the area because they were just coming from their house at that time. So, amen. So they did it at the temple, uh, the, the movable tabernacle at the temple, the tabernacle, which means tent. Amen. Hallelujah. So it says, and thou shalt observe the feast of weeks of the first fruits of wheat harvest and the feast of uh, in gathering, amen, at the year's end. That's what, that's what Pentecost and the whole uh, celebration came from, all right? Uh, then thrice in, in the year, y'all, sh- y'all, <laughs> yes, y- all your men children appear before the Lord God, uh, the God of Israel, all right? So, Amen. And he went down. If you keep reading it, it go into all the rules and regulations and the statutes that the children of Israel had to follow. So that's where it started. And you can read, like I said, Leviticus and Deuteronomy. You can keep reading through those early books to tell you, to give you uh, what he told Israel. <clears throat> it was basically set up for an agrarian or a farmer a society. Amen. Farm society. And everybody grew and, and had cattle and land and like that so they wanted them to follow amen those rules and those regulations amen to obey the word of the Lord <clears throat> amen as they come out of Egypt into the promised land and to recognize the God that brought you out of Egypt amen and brought you to the com- promised land amen so truly God did it for they kicked and scream and amen failed God on many occasions even Moses as a leader failed God but God got his children to the promised land. They broke their promise, but God kept his promise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so um, <clears throat> as we look into this, it says uh, the day of Pentecost marks the birth of the New Testament church. We find the account of the events that took place that day in Acts, the, the second chapter. Amen. And the chapter starts by describing the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the faithful believers, apostles, and disciples of Jesus gathered in Jerusalem, hallelujah, in the upper room, and continues by recounting the events that followed when those believers began preaching to devout men who were visiting Jerusalem. And now we see why they were visiting Jerusalem. It was called the diaspora. Uh, The other countries had come in because of their disobedience. You serve in the gods of other nations, you're going to have to serve the other nations. Nebuchadnezzar and Babylon and different leaders down through the years, amen, they had to be subservient, amen, Darius, amen, Persia, amen, they had to serve, amen, different countries, amen, hallelujah, and be subservient under them because they basically wouldn't serve God, and so they were punished, if you read Judges, Lord have mercy, amen, hallelujah, they thanked God and gave him praise, God blessed them, they started leaning to their own understanding and doing what was right in their own eyes, God punishes them for their disobedience. They cry out, and he sends a deliverer, amen, Deborah and and Elud, and amen. He sends all these deliverers to deliver the children of Israel. They say, thank you, God, and go right back, amen, hallelujah, to do what was right in their own eyes, amen. Judges specifically said, amen, because there was no king in Israel, amen, everyone did what was right in their own eyes, amen, hallelujah, and so. Uh, that cycle continued. And so the different countries and the different places, 
uh, they, they went out to different parts of the world, of that, of that world, amen, amen, the Middle East area and other areas and uh, Egypt and different places, amen, that the, that the Jewish, the Hebrew people that was everywhere, they were everywhere. So but uh, three times a year they would come back to Jerusalem, amen, hallelujah, for the high feast day, all right? So, <clears throat> and so we have them uh, coming back to Jerusalem and visiting Jerusalem. Let's go into, uh, I'm going to skip over, I'm going to come back to 2, 5 through 8. Um, but, but that gives us the overview. It says, there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men of every nation under heaven. Amen. But that was just a nation that was around them. Amen. It was talking about, um, uh, you know, North, North America, South America. It was just the Middle East area slightly beyond that all right <clears throat> and uh there was a sound and the multitude came together and was confused because everyone heard them speak in the, his own language and technically it's not just language it says dialect amen that they spoke like a like somebody from new york you know you know or or, or california you know or canadia hey, hey, you know <laughs> so they they spoke like someone that from my neighborhood not just my language but had an accent with it, amen. And the part I liked was they was giving praise to God, amen, in, in all languages, amen. And they was all amazed and marveled and said one to another, all these, not all Galileans, all, these local folk, amen, hallelujah, amen. They don't know Galileans. What does Galilee mean? Amen, hallelujah, a troublemaker. And aren't these all troublemakers? These are ignorant folk. They don't know nothing, hallelujah, amen. They don't know other languages, Amen. They didn't come from the other country, so why would they know how to speak those other languages? That's why in the temple, it was a, it was a valid reason to exchange the monies because they didn't want pagan money. They didn't want the currency of Caesar with his face on it coming into the temple of God. So it was a legitimate, amen, uh, request that they made that they exchange their money for temple money, amen. But they was they was they was they was scheming, and so the, the weights and the balance and the measures was off. Amen. In the temple's favor. Amen. Hallelujah. And so that's what Jesus turned the tables over because amen, my house shall be called a house of prayer and you made it into a den of thieves. Amen. Hallelujah. So um, so that great temple that Herod the, the first built that Jesus never met. Amen. He passed before Jesus got there. Three Herods. Amen. And so you can get confused. <laughs> it, it, you know, Herod one is, is Herod the great, the great builder. Amen. And Caesarea, where, where Pilate would live, he stayed in Caesarea in, when he came to Judea. Uh, but he came to Jerusalem three times a year. Guess what time? The time of the feast, of the high days. Amen. So he was there at Passover when Jesus, amen, when they brought Jesus before Pilate. He was already there because there was always uprising and protests and rioting. Amen. And so one time he put eagles outside his, 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 his home. And the people of Israel, they started protesting because no graven image. Y'all shall not worship a graven image. And there was one time where he came through the city, and he had the Im image of Tiberius, who was the emperor at the time. And so and he reported, you know, directly to Tiberius. So he came to try to squeal, amen, an uprising, and, and he brought the, the image of Tiberius at top, and he is underneath, amen, because he was over that province. He was the prefect, amen. And so he was the governor. Of, of Judea, amen, and so, and he knew that would offend them, but he did it out of control, because he was there to speak for Rome, amen, hallelujah, and so that he did what he was supposed to do, and so, um, uh, so they, they, they had, they, they was Galileans, and to, uh, to everyone else, they were troublemakers, amen, but to God, you see, that's why you can't say God can't use me, God uses whomever he will, how he will, the way he wants to use me. Amen. And I don't care what they call you. I don't care what neighborhood you're from. God can use whomever he wants to use when he wants to use them. He's sovereign. He's God. Amen. Hallelujah. So aren't these not Galileans? How is it that we hear each one of them in our own language where we were born, our own dialect? Amen. Hallelujah. So who are these people? Amen. Hallelujah. So they was there for, again, once again, for the Feast of Weeks. Amen. That was uh, around late May and early June. Uh, it was Hall Shavuot. Amen. Uh, uh, also known as the Feast of Weeks. Amen. <coughs> <coughs> Y'all excuse me. <coughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all excuse me. It's going to be all right. I'm going to push through. Shavuot and, and, and the Greek translation of Shavuot is what? Quick question. Amen. Hallelujah. 
it is uh, Pentecost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you had the, the week, seven weeks of seven. Sabbat means seven. So you had the seven weeks of seven, which is seven times seven. Y'all math wizards know it's 49. Amen. And so y'all going to like this. So, so they added the, the next Sunday, that was the day after Pentecost, the day after the Feast of Weeks, after the Shavuot. Amen. Is the day of Pentecost when they had the feast and they did the things that they did. So guess what? When it says it, Acts 2, amen, and 1, and when the day of Pentecost had what? Fully come. That's the 50th day. It was truly there. You was there for Pentecost. You were there for the feast. But the 50th day was there. You get it? Amen. Hallelujah. So the 50th day had come. And all these devout men and, um, and that came for the Shabbat. Amen. Excuse me if I'm not pronouncing that right, correct. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, uh, you know, seven weeks after um, Passover, God knows I'm going to try this. It's P-E-S-A-C-H. That's how you say it in, in the Hebrew. Pashat, Pesach. I'm not sure. Hey, so, it, it, you know, the, it was when, when Israel was freed from Egypt, amen, the blood was over the door, and the death angel passed over them. And they left Egypt and came to the promised land, and they had this, you know, little bit of stuff going on in the desert with the wilderness and the Levites and the, and the Hittites, amen, and all those. Amen. And the Feast of Shavuot commemorates the anniversary of the day God gave the Torah to the Hebrews at Mount Sinai. It is also called Feast of Ingathering. We read the scripture when it says Ingathering. In Exodus, and, and it marks the wheat harvest in Israel. Pentecost is the Greek name for Shavuot. I was looking ahead in my notes to break it down. Amen. It literally means 50th day because it commemorated seven weeks or 49 days uh, after uh, uh, Passover. Amen. So if we include the day of Passover, the feast falls on the 50th day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So God wrote the commandment to tell them what to do and, and how to commemorate what he did for them. How to say thank you. Lord, I just don't know how to say thank you. I just want to say thank you for what you've done. But the, the problem is he had to tell them how to say thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So they didn't have the spirit of God at that time. So amen. But we have the spirit of God. We should know how to say thank you. But it's okay. Amen. So who are all these people? These Jewish people for every every nation. So in the book of Acts, second chapter, 9 through the 11th verse, amen, it says the Parthen, the Medes, and the Emulates, amen, hallelujah, don't, 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 you know, forgive me for these words. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be good. Amen. Those dwelling in Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia. Phrygia, I want to say, Tom, I didn't look up the, the phonics on these, but that's a Western pronunciation, amen, Pamphya in Egypt, amen, P-A-M-P-H-Y-L-I-A, I want to say Pamphylia, Pamphylia, and the parts of Libya adjoining uh, Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews, proselytes, proselytes was converted Jews, Amen, hallelujah. Uh, those that <clears throat> converted to Jerusalem, Sammy Davis, for y'all gray hair people, amen, amen, will be called a proselyte because he converted to Judaism, amen. And so the Cretans, the Arabs, amen, we, we hear them speaking our own languages, the wonderful works of God. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Amen, hallelujah. How they were just giving praise to God. Amen. In their personal languages, God and and the God spoke the languages, the, the the word of God, the praise of God in many languages, so people could obey God. They could hear the praise going out. Not not only praise going up, it sound it would sound maddening, it would sound crazy, but they speak in my language, and so I know what they're saying. Hallelujah. Amen. And they're giving praise to God. So God is telling Jerusalem to praise God. Now, Pilate was still there. Pilate didn't leave 
until uh, Tiberius died. Tiberius, Tiberius died uh, like uh, um, AD 37. Amen. So Tiberius went back to Rome uh, around the time that um, um, he was sick. He was gravely ill, and they sent word to Pilate, and he went back. He was on his way. Some say he died before he got back to uh, Rome. So he was there during the time of Pentecost. He was in, he was in either Judea. He had to be in Jerusalem. Because it was a feast day, it was the feast of weeks. It was it was Shavuot. So he, uh, so he definitely was there at Jerusalem, Amen. So he knew that um, that um, the people came to worship and and it, and it went out renowned that, Amen. What happened in the upper room and the people here in different um, from different countries and different parts of the world of their world, Amen. Hearing the words of Christ, I mean, hearing the praise of unto God. Amen, hallelujah. And so, and just as the law came, um, and Jewish traditioners said that God um, uh, just broke it down into, I believe it's 11, 11 dialects, amen, so that people from all around the world could know the law of God. And that's where the more law comes from. A lot of countries, their, their governments are set up, uh, and it coincides with the, with, the, with the Ten Commandments, with the Decalogue. Amen. And so uh, there's, a, there's a morality there, and it comes from God himself. Amen. That's Jewish tradition. There's a lot of Jewish traditions that, you know, that, that are good, and some stuff you got to be careful. But they were saying that, amen, the word Samson means from the sun. The sun itself, he had the power of the sun, and that he, amen, didn't need, you know, help the sun. Don't ask for the press with anything, nor does it need anything from us. Amen. Other than, you know, keeping the ozo land, lay a thick. Amen. Hallelujah. But that's what his name means. It means of the sun. He, he, he has, he's like a sun god. Ra. Amen. Hallelujah. In, in Jewish tradition. So we, we know him to be, you know, the human God used to do mighty things. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's go through here real quick. <coughs> and I'll be done in just a few minutes. I'm not trying to hold you off. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Parthians, the Medes, and the Emulates, amen, they are, they were faithful Jewish men living in what was present-day Iran. Parthia was located in the north, northeast uh, Medea, y'all might know that, amen, uh, in, the, in, the, in the northwest, and Elam, um, in, the so, in the south, just north of uh, the Persian Gulf, amen. Elam um, goes back to Moses' time, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Elon was one of the first cities they met when they went across uh, uh, the, the Red Sea, and it, it means springs. It means they had some, some springs that they that they um, they came across because they needed something to drink. Amen. So God provides. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, um, and at the time of the Book of Acts, all these regions were parts of the uh, uh, Parthian was Parthian Empire, the Parthian Empire, also known as the Arceid Empire. I'm from America. Amen. Washington, D.C. I know from the Middle East. Somebody from the Middle East can pronounce this a lot better than me. Amen. Hallelujah. And was a major Irani Iranian political and cultural power in ancient, Ara in ancient, ancient Iran. Amen. They were most likely descendants of those who had been de uh, deported after the fall of the Kingdom of Israel, the Northern Kingdom, and the Kingdom of Judah. Uh, the southern kingdom, and uh, that never went back to live in Israel, but continued to live in those regions. Amen. So some people along the journey, they stayed in, in different areas. Amen. Uh, Jews, they're all over the world. Amen. They're all over the world. Mesopotamia, uh, they were faithful Jewish men living in what is modern-day Iraq, Kuwait, and western Syria around the Tigris and the Euphrates River. At the time of the book of Acts, Mesopotamia was under Roman uh, Roman rule. Judea, Jesus' hometown, amen, hallelujah. Uh, they were faithful Jewish men living in the area around Jerusalem, uh, which is present-day Israel and Palestine. Judea was also a Roman province at the time of the book of Acts. James, the brother of Jesus, his ministry, he stayed home, amen. So he stayed around Jerusalem, and he ministered there. Many people went into the other most parts of the world, but James, his brother, uh, stayed right there in Jerusalem. Amen. Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Apphia, Pamphylia, Pamphylia. Uh, they were faithful Jewish men living in what's uh, modern-day Turkey. Uh, 
Cappadocia was located in the eastern central Turkey, Pontus in the northeast on the Black Sea, Asia in the west of the Mediterranean Sea, uh, Phygia in the western central Turkey, and Pamphylia on the southern central coast. They were all Roman provinces at the time of the Book of Acts. Amen. Hallelujah. And they were faithful. Uh, Egypt, which Egypt is another lesson all by itself. I've always wondered how did all these other names, they're always changing. And Egypt has always been Egypt. From the time of Abraham, it's been Egypt the whole time. And I like to do a study on that and how it remained Egypt. So Egypt was, was you know, today's Egypt. And uh, they was under the rule of, of Rome as well at that time. Amen. Cyrene, they were faithful Jewish men living around the city of Cyrene, duh, which was located near present-day uh, Shahat in Libya. At the time of Acts 2, modern-day Libya was divided into three Roman provinces. That means the leaders didn't get along. So you take your slice and go over there, and you take your slice and you go over there. This is the Constantine, and, and they split it. he split into four provinces. Uh, before Constantine, amen, um, Diocletian. Diocletian, before uh, uh, Constantine stayed with him, he, he split it in four and took the sons of the leaders and put it and let, left them at his house. And so they, he, he was, so Constantine grew up under Diocletian. That's how he learned how to fight and do warfare under Diocletian because, amen, it was, it was smart on his side because he didn't want the other rulers to try to overtake him. Your kids live in here. So y'all ain't coming to messing with me, you know. So, so, <laughs> so, so, so he learned how to fight and everything. When when Diocletian died, um, um, he thought he was going to take the throne, but he didn't, and he shut him out. Diocletian shut out Constantine. He went home. His father was one of the four kings in Gaul, amen, where Spain is today. And so he did, he went over there uh, and stayed with his dad. And his dad died, and he took over the army and took over that country. And then they came down. Amen. Took over the, um, uh, the the central part, and then they both came down and took took Rome uh, together. Amen. They then they fought each other, and Constantine won, and he had the whole country to himself. Amen. Hallelujah. And so um, um, we see that that um, that there were faithful Jewish men in Cyrene, living around the city of Cyrene, located near Shabbat in Liberty in Libya. Libya at the time of Acts, modern day Libya was divided into three provinces. So they was divided because they couldn't get along. That's that's why they divide the history of the church as well. So that wasn't just Rome. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. And Cyrenica, in the western part of Libya, named after the city of Cyrene, uh, Trolop Trolopia, I know it's um, is this a Trolopia, that's a fruit. Uh, Anna in the west, uh, northwest around the city of Trolopia. Amen. And uh, Pizan, uh in the south part of the of the church of the country. Now y'all see why I had that blue region. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, uh, and south part of the country, Rome. Y'all know where Rome is. Amen. Uh, but the faithful Jewish men and proselytes, those that converted to Judaism, um, who had converted, uh, uh, living in Rome, and uh, at the time of the capital of the Roman Empire, and today, uh, capital of Italy. The Cretans, amen, they were faithful Jewish men living on the island of Crete, amen, and in the, um, and Paul has, you know, he was always going past Crete and stopped in Crete. It was a stopping point on the way to Rome, amen. It was one of the stopover areas there. So it's, it, Crete is all through the Bible. And so in the Mediterranean Sea, now part of Greece, um, at the time of Acts 2, Crete was part of the Roman province called Cyrenica, amen, in the present day Libya. Arabs, they, they were there too. The Jews was everywhere. Amen. They were faithful Jewish men living in the Arabian Peninsula. 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 Amen. Thank you. English. Uh, like Florida. Amen. The peninsula has three sides. Amen. So that's what a peninsula is. Italy's a peninsula. Amen. And uh, Florida is a peninsula, but it has three sides. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's what a peninsula is. Amen. And so, uh, pri uh, present day. Saudi Arabia and perhaps other countries in that region. So you see that the diaspora, the, the spreading of the children of Israel all over the place. And so, um, and, and the Bible predicts them coming back together before the return of the Lord. And so that's why you're having so much conflict over there. The Gaza Strip, they made houses, they moved the Palestinians away and they built houses for the 
for the Hebrews, amen, from all over the world that's coming back home. So that's why you had conflict. We was living here. You know, this belonged to us. You know, our father Abraham lived here. And the Jews say, my father Abraham, he's my daddy. He's not your daddy. He's my daddy. Amen. And so they fighting over who daddy it is, and he both their daddy. Now, children, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that something? Amen. And they're basically the same people. Amen. If you go down through there, amen, they intermarry. You know, Esau intermarry. They all cousins, and they all from uh, the Ammonites and the and 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 Ammon and Moab, uh, 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 Abraham's brothers. And so they Ammon and Moab and them the brothers and nephews of Abraham. So they they all kin. And that's why God didn't want them to come up the coast of Ziz. He wanted them to come up Kadesh Barrera and come up, amen, on the coast where God's and all that is, and take Jerusalem. He said, take it. But they turned and went around the other way. And he's, I don't want it. He said, Lord, help us. We, we lose in the fight. He's like, I, you're not supposed to be here. What are you doing here? These are your kinfolk. These are your cousins. Stop. Don't fight your cousins. And so, and so. Uh, so, so God wasn't pleased with that, but he still allowed them to come into the promised land across the Jordan River. But technically, they was never supposed to cross the Jordan. Amen. He said the other side of the Jordan, but they, they supposed to came up the east, uh, you know, up, the, up from Egypt straight up to the promised land. Amen. So uh, they stepped out of where God wanted them to be. Amen. But you see here um, the different tribes, the different areas, the, not the different tribes, but the people of children of Israel who comes into Jerusalem for these feast days, these high days. His, his Pontius Pilate, <coughs> excuse me, Pontius Pilate uh, bringing in his generals and bringing in his soldiers, amen, during these high feast times because there have been problems with the children of Israel. Amen. Let's set the scene of Jerusalem. Amen. Hallelujah. So you got the skeptic, you got the traditional, amen, hallelujah, children of Israel that's there and, and, and doing what they've been doing since the time of Moses. Amen, hallelujah. And so during the rituals and the sacrifices and the and the Shavuot, amen, honoring Pentecost, amen, amen, commemorating what God has done, amen, what I've grown in my field, what I've done and labored for. And everybody was in the farm at this time and def definitely after this, amen. So they would, they would honor the reading of the Torah, amen. So they would do more of the reading of the Torah back in Moses' time and, and, and before the invasions of other countries, amen, they would, they would, they would bring the sacrifices and part of their land, but they don't have no more land because the first thing they take when they take when they conquer you is your land. And so a lot of them didn't have land, amen. And so they brought money, they brought, and they heard the reading of the Torah at the time of Shavuot, amen, or Pentecost, what we call Pentecost, amen. They don't call it Pentecost, amen. You'll find a lot of words we use are not, amen, used by the, the Hebrew people. Hallelujah, amen. They're translated words, amen. That's why you can't get all caught up in and 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 Jehovah. Jehovah is an acronym. Amen. It's not a real word. Jehovah's not even a real word. It's a it's an acronym, amen, a replacement word for the use the word of the name of God. God's name was spoken one time a year by the high priest in the holies of holies. Amen. Hallelujah. They didn't say they didn't say Yahweh. Yah Yahweh is a replacement, is a is a euphemism. Amen. Hallelujah. It's it's a hitting word that represents God. So he say, say Yahweh. They didn't say Yahweh. They used it as a word to replace, amen, hallelujah, um, the name of God, amen, because they didn't want to make the name of God a common word. So you got to be careful what you tell people what to say and what they can't say, and when you're not saying the right thing. It was only spoken by the high priest in the Holy of Holies, amen, one time of year. And so, uh, and so but we use it, amen. They use, and another one is, Booby prize for somebody that can tell me the other one. Amen. The other one is Adonai. Amen. They use the word Adonai, Adonai as Lord. Amen. So you see those signs in the churches on people's bumper stickers that says Jesus is Lord. It really means Jesus is Adonai. Jesus is God. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm sure some people in them churches don't even know what that means when it says Jesus is Lord. Amen. I don't know if Andre knew when he sung it. Amen. But Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. They're going to find out, hallelujah, that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he's Lord to the glory of God. So you got to be very careful 
amen, when you try to oppress people or try to force people to a certain word, and you don't even really know the language and understand how the language is spoken and how it's spoken and the way it's spoken. When you study the Hebrew language and the letters, and the letters mean something, they you break down each letter, amen, and it means something. There's a corresponding number, and the number means something. That's how technical that language is. And so when you study that, we, and we just gloss over it and whitewash over it and paint over it with a broad brush, and it all means this because that looks like the four on the Cadillac, and, you know, and so I'm going to have to use that word for that. No, it's just, you, we're just speaking pure ignorance. And so you got you have to study to show yourself approved unto God and work and then not be ashamed, right, and dividing the word of truth. Speak the things you know. My, my, my teacher used to say the best thing, Dr. Galloway, the best thing to say when you don't know is I don't know. And so you want to say things that you don't know what you're talking about. So then that's why I was so, amen, intense about this. Amen, amen. And I pray you heard something tonight that's been a blessing to you. Amen, in the name of Jesus. And the basic concept is this. They came from wherever they were to the house of, to the place of God. Amen, to recognize God's, amen. Uh, place in their life. Yes, they were looking for messiahs and people to overtake the Roman government so, and the, the different governments that they were under the rule of so they could, amen, seek God about coming out of our situation. Amen. And when Jesus came along and he came into the picture, they saw him as a way out, as others. Amen. Pilate killed some other people that claimed to be the Messiah after Jesus died. Amen. Hallelujah. But he wasn't Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There was only one. Amen. That rose. Amen. That was begotten from the grave. Many people said they were the Christ. They call it even today uh, the Messiah complex. Amen. Hallelujah. When you think you're the Savior of the world. I don't think I'm him, but I serve him. I know him. I can introduce him to you. Hallelujah. We in the waiting room. He's back in the back. He's the doctor. Hallelujah. In the sick room. Hallelujah. <laughs> And we out front. Amen. The doctor will see you in a minute. Uh, first of all, we need you to fill out this form. Hey, have you got good religion? Hallelujah. Certainly, Lord. Have you been baptized in the name of Jesus? Have you repented from your sins? Hallelujah. You can see the doctor now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ha let me introduce you. <coughs> not to the troublemaker. Not to the God of Lynn. Hallelujah. Let me introduce you to the Savior of the world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Man's ways are foolish. And we find out, and the more you get into the truth and learn the truth, the more foolishness you see from man. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm like Solomon. Amen. Fear God. Keep his commandments. I, I, I considered everything. Now, he had the best mind going outside of Christ. No man should match thy wisdom. That's a good word right there. Hallelujah. And, and no man shall match. And he said, I considered everything. And I come to the conclusion that we ought to fear God, reverence God, and don't be afraid of him. Amen. And keep do what he say. Lord Jesus. If we just did that, our lives would be awesome. Amen. So here are these people from other countries dealing with what they got to do. They're under the rule of the Iranians. They're under the rule of the, of the Roman army. Amen. They're under the rule of the Greeks. They're under the rule of everybody, other different people. And here they come to the city of God, the city of David. Hey, the, the, the Dome of the Rock wasn't there yet. Herod Temple was still there. Amen. At the time of Pentecost. Amen. Hallelujah. Elijah Muhammad, about 500 A.D. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, he, there's no, there was no Islam in, in, in this case. Amen, per se, at this time. Amen, hallelujah. So it was still Herod's temple. Amen, many other, some other emperors were destroyed. It wasn't Islam. It was someone else that destroyed the temple. I forgot the names. I should have wrote it down. Amen. Uh, two emperors of Rome, amen, and tore everything down except that wailing wall that they use today. Amen. Everything else was destroyed. destroyed. There's a big mountain, Mount Zion, where Abraham sacrificed, amen, Isaac, amen, where it went to sacrifice, and God, amen, showed him the ram. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, that place of Jerusalem. Amen, the point place where Jesus is going to come away. He stepped on the cloud and he said, the, in a like manner, the same Christ that's left, amen, is coming back in like manner. Hallelujah, amen, to save his people. Hallelujah, from this world and from their sin. Hallelujah, and so here in the upper room, on Sunday, hallelujah, amen, they gathered together. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Be out of their obedience and uh, God they know I like to go to Acts 1 before I mess with Acts 2. 
amen, Jesus commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait till they're endowed with power from on high. And because of their obedience to God, amen, hallelujah, they stayed in that upper room. They lived there. That's where they were living at. Amen, hallelujah. And so uh, they, they st there was an indefinite stay up, up in the upper room. There's photos of it. You can go online and look those photos up of the upper room. Beautiful place, amen, where they all stayed. Amen. I heard 500 was there initially, but I don't know. Amen. I heard the Bible says 120. I'm going to go with 120. Now, 120 years, Moses built the ark. Amen. Hallelujah. So 120 in the upper room. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'm going to stick with 120. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So they, they, they began. They was filled with the Holy Ghost. And we'll get how and all that on Sunday. Amen. But the people around them began to hear Amen. Their language. Amen. Giving praise to God. So the temple was still there. Hallelujah. Herod's temple was still there. They still sack. I don't know what they did with the curtain. I don't know if they sold it back up. They called in for a replacement. I don't know. They, they went on Amazon and got them a new one. I don't know how they did it. Amen. But they were still in the temple. Amen. Hallelujah. And 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 Caiaphas. Amen. He he was replaced. Amen. Uh, the new the new prefect after after. Um, Pilate, amen, hallelujah, uh, I think it's Verenius, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I should have wrote that down, amen, the new prefect, he came and he just, they was just interchanging the high priest, amen, hallelujah, and so they would hire, the, the, the prefects would, would, would say, the Roman leaders would say who would be the chief, uh, priest, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, and they lived a life of luxury, they lived a great life. And so, and so, and the people was living in poverty and living in all kinds, but they wasn't living like those priests and those high priests and, and, and Sadducees and Pharisees, the, the, the leaders, because this is what uh, uh, Pilate did when he came, because they always had problem with, with Judea. So, <coughs> so when he came, he got in good with the leaders, with the elite, the aristocrats, and he started giving, they, giving them money and working with them, and they started working with him. And so they started scheming with him. And that's why they went out of favor with the, with the people, the children of Israel. So they hated Rome. And they hated being under the leadership of Rome. And now the high priests and Caiaphas and those guys are working with the Roman leaders. So Jesus steps in at the right time. They're ready to hear something different. They don't want to hear from these priests. Hallelujah. They don't want to hear from these so-called men of God. So when Jesus comes, you've heard it said. <laughs> eye for an eye. But I say unto you, hallelujah, thank you. If Jesus come preach, they was ready to receive it. Amen. The people was prepared to receive the message of love. Amen. Hallelujah. This guy's pulling money out of fish mouth, walking on water, healing the sick, raising the dead. And he tells his disciples, don't depart from Jerusalem. He didn't tell nobody from, from Mesopotamia. He didn't tell nobody from Elam. Amen. He didn't tell nobody, amen, from Cyrene or Crete or Asia. Hallelujah. But he told his boys, stay here. My preaching, my healing, my, that's I did. I did, did it. That was a pre-commercial. Hallelujah. All the stuff that I've been doing, my teaching is not enough. Hallelujah. I want to experience this. You got to experience this divineness for yourself. And the only way to experience the divineness is to experience this div divine spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So they was waiting because Jesus said wait. And they was in the right place at the right time because they listened to the right man. I preach with the right words. I don't need specul speculation. I don't need conjecture and theory. I want to know what you think. Give me the word of God. Give me what God says. Maestro, Thomas Whitfield sings that song. We don't need another political horizon. We don't need another conqueror on the scene. But what we need is a special word that will burn in our hearts and give us direction from above. We need a word from the Lord. Just one word from the Lord will remove all doubt and cause the sun to shine and give us peace of mind. Speak, Lord. Lord, we have lacked our wisdom and our understanding. We lack the very love you showed in the sun. We faltered in that way, and we have so much to gain. But So teach us your word, Lord. Speak, Lord. We need a word from the Lord. Just one word from the Lord will remove all doubt and cause the sun to shine and give us peace of mind. Speak, Lord. Speak. 
because the, the Torah that we've been learning is, 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 is defiled. Not by you, God, but by the men that's supposed to be reading your scrolls. We come here from miles around to hear these, these guys who have taken bribes and working with the government who is oppressing us. We don't want to hear what they got to say. Speak, Lord. So here's the city of Jerusalem. Ready. Hallelujah. Toward the paradigm shift. To the divine will of God. And these guys from other countries are the ambassadors, hallelujah, of, of the demonstration of God. Are oh, these not Galileans? Exactly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Right. They don't know your language, but why are they speaking it then? Hallelujah. Why are they giving praise to God in your language? Because that's what you're supposed to be doing. Giving God praise. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. And so the Spirit comes. And it moves upon the face of the waters of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And it separates. It a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Man's order. The temple and the upper room. I don't know the distance between the temple and the upper. I should have measured it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, but, it, but it, it, it's, it's miles apart. Spiritually. We doing a ritual. Let's do the same old thing. Time to go to church. It's Sunday morning. I'm going to put my, shoe, my church shoes on. My church hat on. Hope they sing my song this Sunday. Hallelujah. But you got to shift out of that tradition. Hallelujah. And pick up Psalms 122. I was glad when they said unto me, hallelujah, thank you. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within our gates. O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. I'm glad when they go into the house of the Lord and let us worship and praise and magnify. Amen. The holy name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So everything changed. Jerusalem was never the same. The world was never the same again. Because it wasn't the disciples. They was running and hiding and ducking. But now I got the Holy Ghost, old men of Jerusalem, and all you that dwell in Judea, the same Christ whom you crucified. God has made him both Lord and Christ. He's still king. Y'all killed him and he's still king. Hallelujah. What king has been killed and still king? That makes him the king of kings. Hallelujah. Ha, ah, God, thank you. The Adonai's of Adonai. It makes him the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The city, the people, and the new level in worship. Hallelujah. And the worship of the spirit. No more, I, 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 don't, I don't know if they could talk, but those turtle doves and Amen, those calves and whatever was sacrificed on that altar, the, the lambs, amen, that was sacrificed, can say thank you, Jesus, for being our ultimate sacrifice. And dying for the sins of the world and sending your Holy Spirit down, amen, to us, that we can live holy and righteous, what you're going to do now. You're fussing about the high priest, you're fussing about the Romans, you're fussing about your life situation and your condition. Now you got the Holy Ghost. You got the Spirit of God, the perically, that holy thing. What you going to do now? What you going to complain about now? Hallelujah, that the Spirit of God is living in you. Ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come. The Holy Ghost wasn't finished there. And it's still moving today. And people are being saved and delivered today. What's going on in your city? Rep your city. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. What's going on where you live? What's happening in your home? Where's your upper room? Where's the outpouring of the Holy Ghost in your life? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Get to Pentecost. Get to that place where you're recognizing God till he shifts the ceremony. Hallelujah. The old ceremony just won't do. Hallelujah. He shifts the ceremony. Hallelujah. And gives it power and gives it authority. Amen. That you can receive from God and be a witness to the miracle, wondering power of God's holy word, his holy presence. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Give God praise. I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. That you heard something today. Amen. That's a blessing to you. Amen. About the city. Amen. The people. And the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, the outpouring of the spirit of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. If there's any questions or comments, Facebook, you can type it in. Uh, I can't hear you.
but you can type it in, amen, and I can read it for you. Any questions or comments here, amen, in the place, in the building, amen, you can make that comment or question, amen, at this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Nothing? Anybody? Somebody? Amen. So we thank God for you being with us, amen. We pray God's blessings and healing, amen, and deliverance. Amen. Sunday we'll finish this. Amen. We were talking about everything but the room. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going in the upper room Sunday. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. We're going in the upper room. It's Pentecost Sunday. Y'all got white? Wear white. If you don't have white, don't wear white. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But be clean inside. Amen. Be Hezekiah. Won't he make you? Amen. Hallelujah. Clean inside. Amen. And you're looking to have a high time in the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Again, I pray that you heard something tonight. That's been a blessing to you. You know a little bit more about Jerusalem and the situation there. Amen. How did what was going on with Rome and the leaders of all over the world? But they still didn't stop those pilgrims from coming. Amen. To Jerusalem. Amen. Rome was the best army out there. But they still didn't hinder those Jews from coming to the to the to the high feast high day. He came himself. He had to come. <laughs> You can praise God to the extent the devil got to move himself. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <I> don't <laughs> Woo, Lord have mercy. Isn't that something? Hallelujah. Your oppressor got to go. He got to move. He got a nice palace up there in Caesarea. Hallelujah. But he had to go. He had to come down to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. These, these crazy, hallelujah, Judeans messing me up. Hallelujah. Acting up. Lord is still good. Amen. And you didn't find no fault in Pilate. Amen. I find no fault. You washed your hands. And hallelujah. So he washed them white as snow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He'll, he'll make you clean. Amen. So we thank God for you and all of you that are on today. I can't see y'all either. Amen. But thank you all for joining us today in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray. If there's any prayer requests, put up your prayer requests. Again, we're praying for the Bailey family and the loss of Sister uh, uh, Daisy. Amen. Murray, Miss Murray's sister who passed away. Miss Murray passed away. Amen. Less than a year ago. Amen. So, and now her sister uh, passed away. Amen. So pray for Betty and Ruby and the brothers. I know Brother Stanley, he used to work over at, at the Pentagon. He passed away. Amen. So um, I don't know how many are still living, but we're praying for them. I know the kids are still here name one, I'm going to get in trouble. Hallelujah. So we pray for all the children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I know she was close to Brianna when God did that. Amen. So I know Brianna was upset. Amen. So um, we keep her in prayer as well. Amen. And Betty and the brothers and all the friends and family. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. All the bereaved everywhere. And we pray that God heals and delivers. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this, this lesson on Jerusalem at Pentecost, at the day that you, amen, asked the children to wave the, the, the sheaves and to honor you for the word of God, the Torah, Lord God, for the, for the law of Moses, Lord God. And we thank you for the harvest, Lord God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, uh, for the grain and everything that they, they grew, amen, hallelujah. And they gave you back some to honor you to recognize you in what they receive. And like you said, given it shall be given unto us, pressed down, shaken together, running over, for you cause men to give to our bosom. Lord God, help, help us to love one another like we should. Help us to love you like we should and respect you, Lord God. Allow the Holy Ghost like it did at Pentecost. Lord God, the, the Holy Ghost to, to uh, 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 permeate in our hearts and our minds and use us. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, use us to draw others to Christ. Lord, let the Holy Ghost use us to draw others to Christ. Bless us and we shall be blessed. Keep us and we shall be kept. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 and amen. God bless you, everybody. Love you in Jesus' name. Close the scripture. 1 Timothy, 1st chapter, 17th verse. Amen. Before I do that, amen, Friday night. Uh, Bishop Samuel Butler will be here, Living Word Church, Living Water Church. Amen. He'll be here for our 12th anniversary. Y'all come on out on Friday night. 
amen, Sunday morning uh, Pentecost, amen, Sunday afternoon, we're going to, uh, uh, Bishop Logan and Antioch will be here Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock, so come help us celebrate, amen, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Um, Facebook family, Noonday Prayer family, we'll see you tomorrow morning, amen, at 12 noon, amen, in the name of Jesus, Lord willing, in the creek don't rise, and gray head, old folk, you say that, amen, Lord willing, in the creek don't rise, amen, now we saying it. I don't know what they're going to say next year. They're gonna, I don't know if there's an emoji to it. Amen, hallelujah, or, or, or the, the little words. Amen, hallelujah, the text words. Amen, hallelujah. I don't know. They can change something up. Hallelujah. But the Lord willing, the creek don't rise. I'll see you all tomorrow at noon. Amen. Love you in Jesus' name. I thank God for you listening to this. and It's been a blessing to you. Bless the house of God. Cash app. Amen. Pay, PayPal. You can mail it here to the church. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we love to see you. Come bring it by here. And if you don't have a dollar or a dime, come yourself. And let's worship the Lord together in spirit and in truth. Amen. God bless you. Love you in Jesus' name again. I'll close the scripture, First Timothy, first chapter, 17, verse 9, to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. And I'll see you guys. I'll see you next time in Jesus' name. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Budenite Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.